So I wanted to get this idea up, preferably before everybody else did, because I know a lot of people are probably going to talk about this. Um, but Jack, in the recent chapter and even the last chapter, we've seen that he has like a mysterious look to him. He His teeth are very sharp, all right? And they don't look like a human's, all right? And even I theorize that he might be part of the horned race, maybe, which is still a possibility. But it does seem like he has some other traits that could line up with other species. And people have been already saying that he looks like a fishman. And I sort of specifically found which race he could be a part of, or at least a hybrid of. And oddly enough, he bears the closest resemblance to Dellinger from Doflamingo's crew. Now, it seems kind of weird at first. You're like, wait, how is Dellinger relevant? He was just sort of like, you know, this character that was relevant for, you know, two chapters really when he was cool. Then he just became, you know, this whatever character. And Jack's so much cooler. Well, I was thinking the same thing at first, but there's just so many similarities that I was just thinking of. And I wanted to bring them up. Now, obviously, both of their teeth are very similar, so that's just one trait right there that, you know, is very obvious. But that's not really enough, you know. It could just be another race with sharp teeth as well. He could just be another regular Fishman hybrid. And it was explained in the Fishman Island arc that if you breed humans and Fishman a certain way, where you get closer to the human DNA more than the Fishman DNA, further along the line, you will have, you know, people that have less and less traits of fishmen so maybe jack has simply retained the sharp teeth and the ability to breathe underwater which is why he was able to survive underwater for so long but one of the reasons i think specifically he has the traits of the fighter fish is because first of all the horns all right he has horns and a lot of people have said these are fake which it seems likely that they are but dellinger has horns as well under his hat and they are pretty small, so what I'm about to say might be a little bit far-fetched, but maybe Jack has a lot smaller horns, sort of like Dellinger, but he has covered them up with these fake horns, which is why when he turns into his mammoth form, um, they shrink back onto his back, and they're not, like, real. But maybe his smaller horns, you just can't see him under the fur. Because we know Kaido's crew has, like, a big thing with horns. You gotta have horns if you're part of Kaido's crew for some reason. And maybe he just wanted, you know, bigger horns to show off more prestige, maybe? But yeah, the horns, no matter what the case may be, it's definitely a trait that is similar between Dellinger and Jack. Not a very significant one. And if you notice, the fighter fish have a tendency to get very, very angry and raged and almost crazy, which Dellinger showed. And Jack is very clearly the same way. You know, he charged in, attacked admirals, which, you know, he fell flat on his face when he did that. But he seems to just do these crazy things that make absolutely no sense. Like, even Luffy wouldn't go this far half the time. And much like Dellinger, he has the same temper. And he seems to get, you know, into these crazy modes where he goes completely berserk. Now, aside from his zone and this potentially awakened zone, maybe, um, I would say that maybe his fighter fish blood might be part of what allows him to resist strong attacks maybe it's what allows him to fight for so long because it was shown that fighter fish have a huge amount of energy which could contribute to jack's overall strength and durability and lastly jack and dellinger both have blonde hair which is you know a big trait it could mean that they are in some way related maybe they're part of the same family because the way they were breeded, like the kind of the way they have a very minimal amount of these potential fishmen traits, it almost seems like they were breeded this way, and they could be very closely related. I don't know if I'd go as far as like brothers or anything like that, but they both have some kind of tie to Doflamingo. Maybe Dellinger was stuck with Doflamingo, and then Jack, who is stronger, went with Kaido directly. And even though there's a very, very, very small chance. Um, Kaido could potentially also be part of this race as well. He obviously doesn't have the sharp teeth, but Dellinger was able to control his sharp teeth and at many points looked very normal. And just to sort of show you, you can clearly see that Kaido does have very, very similar horns to the fighting fish. I mean, it's, it seems very, very weird, but I wouldn't doubt it with Oda. He just does really random stuff sometimes. So just keep an open mind, I guess. But that's about it for today. Uh, I know I'm a little bit quiet this video. I had to be a little bit more quiet. Uh, it's very late. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all later.